today we're going to be looking at how you can make your videos look more cinematic. Now before jumping into editing, uh, we're going to need to look at a few things in camera and while taking the video. Starting off with depth of field. Cinematic video is known to have a shallow depth of field. What a shallow depth of field is, is when you have your background blurred and your subject in focus. That keeps your audience's eyes focused on your subject and not anything around it. Now, you need to know when to use this and not to overuse it. Second thing is camera movement. Cinematic video is known to also have smooth movements. Now, this doesn't always apply because sometimes Depending on the scenario, you might want to have shaky footage. So you're going to want to know when you want your videos to look smooth and when you want to add some camera shake. Now these are two basic requirements for cinematic videos. I'm not going to go into depth in this because it can go on for hours and hours. So if you pretty much have these two with a little bit of color grading like I'm going to show you now and some editing, you can get cinematic video right away. Now moving on to editing these clips. So I have three clips over here. We're going to look at them one by one and we're going to go through how to edit these and make them look more cinematic. Now I shot this at 30 FPS. I like to shoot it at 30 sometimes and slow it down to 24. So it slows it down a little bit, but it doesn't give that slow motion effect. So I'm going to go ahead and make these at 24 frames per second and I'm going to create a new sequence. Now we can look at each one. This is the uh, depth of field I was talking about. As you can see here, the subject's in focus, but the background isn't. And yeah. this one was shot at 60 frames per second and slowed down to 24. So it gives a slow motion effect, which also makes it more look more cinematic. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is shooting in slow motion. Shooting in slow motion can make your video also look more cinematic, but as always, don't overuse it. And if you realize most of these, this one was shot handheld, but it doesn't really show because it's playing in slow motion, so it doesn't give that camera shake that you would normally see if you shot at 24 frames per second. And this is the last clip. which pretty much looks cinematic right out the camera, but we're gonna fix a little bit of stuff and make it look even more cinematic. So let us start with this one right here. Now the first thing I like to do is add the widescreen bars and this instantly gives it a more cinematic look. So instead of adding it to the clip itself, I'm gonna go ahead and make a new adjustment layer by going to new adjustment layer and then dragging that adjustment layer on top and then going down to the effects panel, and typing in crop, dragging it to the adjustment layer and adjusting the crop by let's say 11% or 12% on top and let's say 12 at the bottom, not too much. And why we had added to the adjustment layer is because we can drag this on the entire timeline and we can, it instantly applies it to all the clips now. It's kind of like layers in Photoshop, same concept. Now that we've added that, then we can go on to color grading. Now, first off, you want to color correct it before color grading. I'm not going to go too advanced into color correction because it'll be a really long tutorial, but you can just fiddle around with these sliders. I like to bring down the blacks a little bit and the whites up. That gives it some contrast. You can adjust the highlights and bring up the shadows a tiny bit. Nothing too crazy. Now, the more you play with these sliders, the more you get an understanding of how they work. Now, I usually color grade these from scratch, and but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to use LUTs, which are lookup tables. You can download these online. There are plenty and plenty. So we can simply go to our adjustment layer once again, or actually you can duplicate that adjustment layer and I'm going to, by pressing, holding alt and dragging it on top. 
so that duplicates it on top and we're going to select the top adjustment layer and we are going to apply a LUT to it. Now it, you can instantly see it gives it a more cinematic look but it looks way too strong and that's why we added it to the adjustment layer so we can adjust the opacity so by going down to the effects control and adjusting the opacity down to let's say 50% now you can see that it gave it a more cinematic look but it's not too intense and I'd say that's about it for this clip so I have went ahead and rendered this out and we can see the before and after here's the before and just by applying a few steps we can see it went to this now it probably needed a little warp stabilizer but I'm gonna skip that part so moving on to our second clip this is what it looks like now as you can see it already looks cinematic just by the way it was shot by using a gimbal and also during sunset so that's a prime example of why it matters when and how you shoot it and cinematic video should start in camera and not not straight in editing now we're gonna apply the same steps once again so we're gonna do some color correction over here just add a little contrast bring down the highlights a little bit now this depends on what camera you're shooting with what picture profile you're shooting with it's all dependent and you're gonna probably adjust this more or less depending on your clip as well so don't just follow these blindly and I think that looks pretty good and we're gonna drag the adjustment layer once again we're gonna add the widescreen bars by holding down alt and dragging it on top and we have our widescreen bars once again the top layer was our layer where we added the LUT so we're gonna go ahead and drag it as well and BAM but I'm gonna reduce the opacity of the LUT because it looks a little too intense I'm gonna put about 25% let's say maybe 30 and there we go that instantly looks better let's look at the before you can see here it looks good but it's just that extra little step that adds a lot now with just a few steps we went from that to this Bam. Now let's move on to our last clip. Let's take a look at it first. And as you can see, it already kind of looks cinematic just by the way it was shot once again. Uh, you can see having the subject in focus and background blurred as I was talking about earlier. But this looks a little bit overexposed, so we're going to fix that right now. We're going to bring down the exposure down a little bit. Once again, give it some contrast by taking down the blacks and also taking down the highlights. I think that looks pretty good. I'm not going to increase the whites in this one because it already looks a little overexposed. Now, once again, we're going to drag our widescreen bars on top. And our LUT. And there we go. Bam. I also forgot to mention that shooting it in slow motion helped a lot make it look more dramatic and give it a more cinematic feel as well. So we just went from this plain little looking clip to this insane Hollywood effect. Wow. Well, maybe not that Hollywood, but yep, that's pretty much it. So just by applying these few steps, you can get this cinematic looking video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all learned something. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to catch more tutorials in the future, then subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.